Hey ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, you're watching CHM Tech and in this video I'm going to show you a way to stream your Windows 10 screen directly to your Android device. Now before we get started, I just want to apologize for not uploading anything in the last few weeks. Now you know my policy, I really don't want to bore anyone with any reasons from my personal life, but I do want to thank you for sticking around. So yeah, thanks. Without any more sidetracking, let's get into the tutorial. So in order to stream the Windows 10 screen to an Android device, we're going to be using a free application called Splashtop that you can download and install from the Google Play Store. If you do a search for a Splashtop streamer, you should see this one as the top result. So simply tap on it and install it on your device. The first time you run the application, you'll need to register by entering an active email address and a password that you'll be using to log into your Splashtop account. Once you enter the information, simply tap on Create Account and agree to the terms of service. Then you'll get this message. Your Splashtop account has been created successfully. Welcome to Splashtop. Once you tap continue to proceed, the app is going to ask you to sign in with the email address and password you just created. But the first time you try to log in, you're going to get a login fail message that looks like this. In order to get rid of it, you'll need to authenticate your device, which is really a matter of just a few clicks. Simply log in to the email account you used to create the Splashtop account, go to your inbox, and there you should find a device authentication message from Splashtop. Open the email, click on the authentication link, and voila! Now if you go back to the Splashtop app on your Android device, you will be able to log into your Splashtop account by entering your email and password. Now in order for this to work, you'll need to install the Splashtop streamer on your PC as well. So let's head back to the PC. The link for this particular download will be in the video description below. Once you open the page, you want to click on the download streamer button right here. Once it downloads, simply run the execute file and in a few moments the streamer will be installed. You really don't have to do anything else, it's as simple as that. Once you run the program, make sure to log in to the Splashtop account that you previously created on your device. Before you can get started, you need to make sure that both your Android device and your PC are connected to the same local network. Once they're both connected to the same network, you're ready to start streaming. So open the Splashtop app on your Android device. If both devices are connected to the same local network, you will see the name of your PC on the list. When you tap on it, you'll see two options, Remote Desktop and Remote Camera. To stream the Windows 10 desktop, simply tap on the first option and give it a moment to connect. Now here you can see some tips on how to navigate. For example, a single tap is the same as a left click, tap and hold with one finger to right click, you can tap and drag to drag and drop, you can drag vertically to pan the screen, tap and drag with two fingers for window scroll, and you can pinch in order to zoom. Touch anywhere on screen in order to move the arrow around the screen, and you also get hints on what you can do on the toolbar, but we'll get into that a bit later. Now if you don't want to see these tips in future sessions, uncheck this option right here. For now, I'm going to leave it on and simply tap continue. And as you can see, I am now streaming my Windows 10 desktop in real time on my Android device. So here's some demo footage.
be protection contracts. Well, he's not very good at it, is he? Please don't throw me off this roof. Wouldn't dream of it. Mylon Nedich. Echelon's got nothing. Now, as you were able to see, using the button on the bottom right can bring up a keyboard, but you can also open the toolbar. So let's just go over a few options. One thing you can do is record your screen by tapping on the record button. Up here, you can see the timer. When you want to stop, bring up the toolbar and hit the stop recording button. The footage will be stored in your gallery. Moving on, tapping on the question mark opens up the tip, so if you forgot a certain control, maybe how to scroll or something, you can remind yourself right here. Here you can select the pointer navigation mode. By default it's set to Windows 8 touch mode, but if you want you can try out the other two modes and see which one suits you best. You also have a scroll wheel option which may be handy if you intend to scroll a lot. The audio button toggles the audio on and off. As you can see right now, I am muting it. So let's just turn it back on. Now, there are a few more options here that I will leave you to mess around with yourself. To stop streaming, you can tap on this button right here. Tap OK and the session will be over. So that would be all for this time. I really do hope you found this video useful. If you did, please hit that like button and maybe share the video with your friends. For more similar content in the future, make sure to subscribe and I will do my best to make it up to you. Thanks for watching and as always, stay strong.